Hey, welcome back everyone. Uh, we're going to show you another video. Today, uh, we're going to talk about the importance of scenery and land. Now, when you enter a park, you have very simple land and scenery. Now, right now, you can see that I haven't mowed the grass in a while. If you want your land to look nicer, like it was just mowed, we're going to place this handyman on the grass. We're going to give him a specific area, and I want him just to mow the grass. That's his only goal. And I can actually have him overlap. I just want that entire area of grass mowed. And that's all he's going to do is mow the grass in that area. I'm going to hire another handyman on this side, and he's also just going to mow the grass. That's going to be his only thing that he's going to do. And, as you can kind of see here, the handyman, when he's mowing the grass, after he's done, it kind of turns into this nice look. Or it's like that. Now, if you don't have time for that, you go into the cheat menu, uh, there's actually a uh, button. I don't recommend you doing this, but you can. And uh, you can just click mode grass, and then all the grass changes to mode. Uh, now those handymen have nothing to do. Um, so I can clear the grass, and now they can mow the grass if they want to. Now as you take a look, the land... This is just normal land, you know. And by the way, with these handymen, you should uh, fire them uh, if you want to. Just put them in the trash can. Uh, it asks if you want to sack a handyman. Sacking is a term for employees if you're from overseas. Usually we'd say fire or terminate or lay off uh, in the United States. But the game will say sack. So... Let's look at the other land options here. Dealing with land in the game is unique. And again, this is the shovel. That's what that is. So that's how we're going to play with the land. Now, you have a mountain tool, which will allow you to raise land up all together. Um, you can actually paint the landscape instead of changing the elevation while you're dragging. And then you have different options to paint the landscape, different patterns and things. Um, this one is for the top part of the land. And this one is for the sides of the land. And I'll show you what that means. So I'm not selecting either of these, so I'm going to play with this land. Notice how as I'm moving around, the corners highlight or the entire box highlights. That's important to notice. So if I have the entire box highlighted, I can click and drag up. And you'll see when that land looks like that. And if I wanted to change the type, let's say I wanted it to look like ice, that'll be ice on the sides, and then snow on the top. And just click on it, and poof, now I have a block of ice that I have there. Now if I wanted this to be a mountain of ice, I click on that. And in theory, I should be able to... I guess it's only going to do the top for the mountain. But if I click on anything, it will change it to ice. So this is going to be my ice mountain here. Now this one allows me to affect a lot larger area all at the same time. So that's what I'm going to do. And remember, look at, look at how much money I'm spending. Land is expensive to change. But I want this area of the park to be like a winter wonderland. That's my goal. And uh, if I don't want the mountain look, if I want to see like the sides of the ice, I can do that. Make it more, you know, kind of flat. Like some ice cliffs on the sides. You can play with this. And uh, as long as you have at least room for uh, two levels up, you can actually build tunnels. So I'm going to build a footpath in that area. And I'm not sure which footpath looks the best in an icy scape. Maybe just the regular one. 
And I can go up to the edge, but then it's going to just going to build on the top there. So what I have to do is I have to click on the tunnel footpath button on the bottom. Now I can build a footpath into the icy cavern. And you can actually build an entire ride indoors if you really want to. Um, so I'm going to build my icy mountain food court. Now it's easier to build things in this idea if you uh, can uh, see it underground. Um, in order to do that, you have to do underground inside view from this eye. That's actually the default click. And I'm going to build my icy food court. And I'm going to sell some chicken inside. And uh, if I hold down shift, I can raise it up or lower it underground. I have to go underneath. Looks like my mountain's not tall enough to contain the chicken underneath, so I'll have to raise up the mountain. That's okay. I'll go back here and raise that land up. I don't know how tall the chicken has to be, but we're going to see. Remember, I kind of want to have a cool little ice scape anyway, so this isn't going to... If I click on the sides, you can see how it actually will keep it kind of nice looking on the sides so there. Stay. All right. So I'm going to build my chicken stand inside. So I go on to the top of it with the Z so it's in the right spot. I'm going to hold down the shift key on the keyboard until it goes underneath and it has to meet the same level and you'll see when it's at the right level just by kind of looking at it because you'll see that it actually outlines it. And uh, that's actually open now. So I have a fried chicken stand inside my mountain. And if they want fried chicken, they're probably going to want something to drink with it. So let's see what we have here. Just some normal sodas. Again, I might have to uh, raise the... Yeah, see, I have to raise it up again. So we'll go back to the land. There we go. I'm build my drink stand now. Hold down the shift key until I get underground. Make sure I'm at the right level. And by the way, I have the cheat on so it actually automatically... Un uh, it's not really a cheat, but it's an option, so it automatically opens stalls as I place them. If they're not opening, you have to make sure you click on the flag to make sure they're green when they're open. And now those are both open. Now I also want to build some things on the path inside this. So I'm going to build some benches and trash cans. I'll go back into the underground view. I'm going to build some benches right around this food court area and trash can. And uh, that's that. And then I'll put a little sign on here. I don't know if I have a Winter Wonderland sign. Put that there and call it the Winter Food Fun. Put one of these in, and maybe some nice trees. And some snowflakes. And then I gotta continue my path so it connects with everything. It's important to keep in mind the types of paths you're using for each area so people know the difference. So there, there I go. Now I have a underground food court with the land. I hope this uh, makes sense and so you can understand what to build underground. And, uh, you know, best of luck in your parks.